NFL. This is the second to last week of the NFL season. A lot of playoff implications this week, so we will just get right into it. We have our new notebook here, and we will open up to a fresh page and get started. Thursday night game. And of course we have the away team on the left and the home team on the right. Today's game, that is the Cowboys versus the Titans. The Cowboys are 11 and 4, and the Titans are 7 and 8. Dallas is favored 12, and the over under is 40. No, I don't know. I don't think anything's been confirmed yet, but I think there have been some rumors that the Titans will rest some of their key players because the only game that really matters for them the rest of the year is first the Jaguars uh, in week 18. The winner of that game is going to win the division. So for both the Titans and the Jaguars, this week doesn't really matter. So therefore, I'm going to pick the Cowboys to win this game. Sunday, which is New Year's Day, we have the Dolphins versus the Patriots. The Dolphins are 8 and 7, and the Patriots are 7 and 8. New England is favored 3, and the over under is 41 and a half. Tua Tagovailoa did indeed suffer a concussion last weekend, so Teddy Bridgewater will be in a quarterback for Miami this weekend. I'm going to take the Patriots to win here. They really lost to themselves first the Raiders and the Bengals the last couple of weeks and should be in a pretty decent position to make the playoffs, but now they're kind of in must-win mode for the next two weeks, and uh, I'll take them for Steady Bridgewater this week. I'll go 24-20 for New England. Should be a weird QB match. 
matchup regardless of who's starting for the Cardinals with Desmond Ritter starting for the Falcons. Um, I'll go with the home team here. I'll go 17-13 for Atlanta. Chiefs is next. The Broncos are 4 and 11 and the Chiefs are 12 and 3. Kansas City's favorite 12 and a half and the over under is 45. Taking Kansas City here. Uh, the Broncos are one of the worst teams in the league and the Chiefs are one of the best so I think they win this one at home. city. Eagles is next. The Saints are six and nine, and the Eagles are thirteen and two. Philadelphia's favored six, and the over under is forty four. I think I'll take the home team here again, uh, even though Jalen Hurts isn't playing once again for the Eagles. Gardner Minshew looked pretty good last week versus uh, the Cowboys, and the Saints offense isn't very good. I don't think they'll be able to put up enough points, so I'll go 27-17 for Philly. the line. 
guys last week and I don't know, something about the Bucks. I just don't think they're a very good team. Um, they do have Tom Brady and he usually does shine in these moments, but I think the Panthers might take this game from them on the road. is next. The Browns are 6 and 9 and the Commanders are 7 7 and 1. Washington's favored too and the over under is 40 and a half. Carson Wentz, I believe, is back to starting quarterback for the Commanders after he replaced Taylor Heineke who was benched last week in I believe the third quarter. scoring game here. Another bit of an upset. Kind of ruined the commander's playoff hopes here. Um, the Browns defense is pretty good. And I don't think either team will score many points. Jaguars Texans is next. Jaguars are 7 and 8, and the Texans are 2, 12, and 1. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if the Jaguars will be resting any key players for this one. Um, based on the line, it doesn't really seem like it. I still think the Texans have a pretty good shot at winning, though. Um, so I'm going to take the Texans for a bit of an upset here, even though the Jaguars have been playing really well. Four twenty one for Houston. Forty Niners Raiders is next. The Forty Niners are eleven and four, and the Raiders are six and nine. San Francisco's favorite ten. And the over-under is 41 and a half. But I think the 49ers are going to win this game. Derek Carr was just benched for Jarrett Stidham, who will be starting this game for the Raiders. Seahawks. Both teams come in in this one at seven and eight. The Jets are favored one and a half, and the over/under is forty-two and a half. Mike White, I believe, is back to starting for New York this week. I think he's been cleared to play, so should give the Jets' offense a bit of a boost. I'm still going to take the Seahawks, though. I'll go 27-24 for Seattle. Vikings Packers is next. The Vikings are 12 and 3, and the Packers are 7 and 8. Green Bay's three favored 3.5, three and, and the over under is 48. Interesting to see Green Bay favored in this one, um, given the records, but I do think Green Bay wins this one. They do need to win uh, to make the playoffs. And I think the Vikings are. Not the best 12 and 3 team in the world. Let's just put it at that. I'll go 27 21 for Green Bay.
Next is the Rams versus the Chargers. The Rams are 5 and 10 and the Chargers are 9 and 6. The Chargers are favored 6 and a half and the over under is 41. I think the Chargers win this one. The Rams did put up 51 or 52 points or something last week. I don't think that'll happen again. I think they'll go back to their old ways here. Let's go 24-13 for the Chargers. Sunday night game is Steelers Ravens. The Steelers are seven and eight, and the Ravens are ten and five. Baltimore's favorite two and a half, and the over under is thirty five. I'm going to take the Steelers on the road here with a big win for their playoff hopes against their division rival. 17-13 for Pittsburgh. And finally, a pretty good Monday night matchup here. We got Bills, Bengals. Bills are 12-3 and, and the Bengals are 11-4. Buffalo's favorite one, and the over-under is 49 and a half. Uh, this should be a pretty good high-scoring game. I'm going to take the Bengals to win 31-28. time.